Hello. Um, this morning we're going to ask the question, is mass conserved? I have in this baby bottle about two heaping teaspoons full of baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, sodium hydrogen carbonate. And I have in this little uh, bottle acetic acid, vinegar, regular household vinegar. I'm going to carefully lower this in here. And I'm going to put the top on. And the reaction between vinegar and baking soda or sodium bicarbonate is um, a reaction that produces carbon dioxide. Okay, but everything is contained in this container. So I weigh the whole thing, the reactants, uh, the acetic acid, the um, baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, and the mass is 800, I'm sorry, 84.8 grams. All right. Now I'm going to tip over the bottle and let the vinegar react with the baking soda. And that's going to cause carbon dioxide to be released. And now we're going to weigh it again at the end of the reaction. And it's actually 84.6 grams. It actually got lighter. Oh, 84.7. Almost the same, slightly lighter. What could that be? How could it get lighter? Well, one reason is some of the carbon dioxide could have escaped. I don't think that's the case, but it's possible a little bit has escaped. The other reason is that the volume has increased and the volume caused a displacement of air, so there could be a little bit of a buoyant force lifting this up. In, in a chemical reaction, mass should be conserved, forgetting about Einstein's relativity. Uh, to a good approximation, mass is conserved. And we have approximately the same mass, but it's slightly lighter. And as I said, it's possible a little bit escaped, but it's also possible that some of it, uh, the mass changes due to the increase in volume causing a, an increase in the buoyant force. Um, when we get on a scale, we're actually a little bit less massive than the scale would read because uh, we're displacing air, and so there's a little bit of a buoyant force pulling us up. It's uh, many grams, but uh, certainly not pounds, but uh, it's significant. So uh, I hope this uh, illustrates nicely that uh, during a chemical reaction, mass is conserved pretty much. Uh, and uh, it's a very simple demonstration that can be used to show that mass is conserved. Okay, thank you for your attention.